said, I'm sorry, I just thought that she would come and interview you. The two of you have decided to make a commitment to one another, and we are here today to formalize that commitment with your rights of matrimony. The right of marriage in which the two of you have now come to be united is the first and the oldest right in the world. It has been celebrated since the beginning of the human race, and it is God's institution for the comfort and convenience of mankind, and is therefore enshrined with dignity and honor for all who enter into it in true affection. Thus, marriage will be to you if you have it in your hearts to beautify and enrich it with your tender devotion, your mindfulness in little things, and your patience and sacrifice of self to each other. Becoming a faithful, loving spouse not only takes courage and faith, but patience and a desire to keep learning and growing. Better than the question, what kind of spouse do I desire to have, is the question, what kind of spouse do I aspire to be? Therefore, success in marriage is more than finding the right person, it's becoming the right person. To signify your willingness to engage upon these obligations, and as a seal of the vows that you are about to make, I ask the two of you, which you've already done, to yeah. join hands. Okay, so you'll, you'll listen to this stuff. You'll do after this part. Okay, no, you don't need to repeat it. <clears throat> Will you, Justin, take Chapon, whom you hold by the hand to be your wedded wife, promising to adhere unchangeably to her through all life's changes, to keep, cherish, and to defend her, and to be her faithful and true husband as long as you both shall live. Okay. And will you, Siobhan, take Justin, whom you hold by the hand, to be your wedded husband, promising to adhere unchangeably to him through all life's changes, to keep, cherish, and to defend him, and to be his faithful and true wife as long as you both shall live. Before you exchange your rings, I would like to remind you that your rings represent the perpetuity of your union as husband and wife, and you are to each wear your rings as an enclosing bond of reverence and trust. Now, do y'all have the two hands? Okay, if you will. I be wed and give my solemn pledge of eternal devotion. With this ring, I be wed and give you my solemn pledge of eternal devotion. Now that you've exchanged your rings, you will fulfill the perfect circle of unity that makes you one. Now I charge that you love one another as ordained of God. And I take something from 1 Corinthians in which the Apostle Paul defines love. He says love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It's not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. Love does not rejoice in the wrong. It rejoices in the right. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things endures all things. Love never ends. So faith, hope, and love abide. These three, but the greatest of these is love. Now from as much as the two of you have commented in the presence of God and of this company here today to live together in holy marriage and have pledged the same with the affirmation of your vows, the giving and the receiving of your rings, and by the joining of hands, I declare you to be husband and wife in the name of the Almighty, and that which God has joined together, let no person put asunder. Sir, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Justin Ryan Romero. certified and back to you. And uh, congratulations. Thank you. Both of y'all. Right. 
And if y'all like to stay around and take some pictures here in, in the courtroom, feel free to do so. Thank you, boss. Come back on. Dress if you're taking no pictures. I just came.